G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to create an artwork using only Sharpies. They're very practical, they're not particularly artsy in the sense that they don't blend with each other if you get different colours. They're most common in the black, simple, fine point variety. But when shopping through Kmart the other day, hashtag not sponsored, I found this variety of markers. Every colour of the rainbow. I also have a few other varieties. I have the large variety. This is the big bullet tip permanent marker sharpie. It's it's the same as the little one, but it's a little bigger than the little one. And then I have some of these. These are silver and gold sharpies. I have no plans for what I'm going to make, but what I know is I have a variety of different kinds of sharpies. Now, why is this an art challenge? Well, first of all, I won't be able to use construction lines because I'm limited to only sharpies. I can't use pencil or rough anything out. I'm just going to go straight into ink on paper. And then beyond that, even the colored varieties, though they have lovely colors, they don't particularly mix very well. See, that looks a bit khaki and bleh. So they create a clean, solid color on their own. Whoa, this orange is like a brown. Ew. So anyways, I will be limited in how much I can prepare or plan or even be flexible in the creation of an artwork, but I want to do something cool, fun, epic, and we've got lots of colors and sparkles to work with. I'll start off by testing each of the Sharpies out just to get a bit of an idea as to what the colors look like against each other and individually. I got the picture pretty quick that the markers were really strong on their own, but weren't going to work very well when mixed or immediately meshed in with each other. So I decided the best way to go ahead would be to create a bit of a a cutout look sort of stencil style artwork. Starting off with my plain black sharpie, I illustrate a character walking forwards carrying a backpack looking a little bit downtrodden and I had the concept that he would be I guess confronted by a bully character also drawn in the black sharpie and that both of these characters would have their various emotions and mind states represented around them with the other coloured sharpies. I thought this might work well because black being the most bold colour is definitely going to stand out more than the others and I didn't want to overstate the others by surrounding them or outlining them in black or using other colors. But because the colors were so strong individually I thought if they represented something it could be really cool. I used my thick black sharpie to go around the silhouettes of both characters just to make sure that they have a really nice solid outline and then I moved on to some figurative figures in color to represent the emotions of these characters surrounding them. I drew a version of the bullied kid in a red sharpie to sort of represent the anger or perhaps the being on the edge of lashing back and then with a noble purple sort of color I drew the character sort of holding back and standing up for himself but in a controlled and self-respecting way. And then last but not least in the strong blue I drew a cowering, shaking, terrified version of the character. I started to be quite surprised I think by how effective I thought the emotional tone of the piece was working. I thought the colors really represented the emotions of the characters really well. The bully for example having a green, sickly and breaking down version of himself. I find this interesting in that if we were to look at this piece without the emotions and the context we would obviously choose a hero and a villain or at least a protagonist and an antagonist. However with these different layers adding context I think it's kind of cool how it adds a layer of empathy and understanding even for where the bully comes from and perhaps even pity for both of the characters. I really enjoyed how this piece was coming together and I thought it was time to frame it and really complete it. I went back to my thick black marker and added some slight bumps and lumps to create a more more organic flat surface area for the ground to make it look like they're walking on mud rather than just a flat line. And then I moved through to creating textures on the ground and adding color. I sort of outlined the rough area of where a shadow would be cast between the two characters, also accentuating of course that the only thing really there are the two bodies of the black lined characters and that the emotions are figurative. And then after that I filled in the background behind the characters, leaving a slight gap around the silhouettes of their figures and their emotions in a golden sun which sort of I guess nicely frames the piece and also accentuates and complements some of those other colors really nicely. And then last but not least I went through in my orange marker and filled in the rest of the ground because the orange wasn't actually a very bright or overbearing orange it was kind of a muddy orange which surprisingly worked really well with the brown and added to the effect for the ground. So 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the result of my Sharpie marker challenge. I didn't get a chance to use the metallic ones, the uh, the silver and the gold, but to be honest, I felt like they would look a bit out of place and they don't actually really show up well on camera unless you're able to sort of move them and you can see the light reflecting on it. So it would have just looked a little bit dull. So I stuck with the really bold colors and the black markers and I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I actually sort of didn't know what direction the piece would go in until I started playing, but I didn't want to do something typical with the colors. I wanted to try and tell a story with the colors and the markers in a way that is accentuated by the limitation of the colors and the flatness of the markers. I'm going to call this piece Under the Surface and it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess it's about a confrontation between two characters and it shows what's going on behind their actions or who they are. And I just, I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun and it turned out a little more sentimental, I guess, than I expected a piece with the Sharpies in a challenge to turn out but I think it's kind of cool and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and, and the result of this challenge. If you enjoyed this video you'd love my liquid paper art challenge where I use nothing but white out to create a piece of art. I'll link to that in the card and the end of the video. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you thought I did an alright job and make sure to subscribe if you're new to Draw with Jazza. We do three videos a week, loads of art challenges, competitions, occasional tutorials and loads of other stuff. Thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen and until next time I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.